What is Periot? So to put it simply, it's an open source AI powered code editor. Okay, and we intend to make this obviously the best AI powered code editor. It's going to empower people to build things. Even if you're a non-coder, non-technical person, if you have an idea, it's gonna be way easier for you to build it if you have an environment that allows you to do so. And that is the mission of Perry AI. We need to beat right? So I believe that right now is the best AI code editor on the market right now. Oh, we have a master doc. Every one of you guys can access and it has all the links. Unpopular opinion, I don't even like TypeScript. I prefer just plain JavaScript. Oh, I don't know what to put the types for this. Just boom, chat GPT. How can we get you guys to contribute to this that makes sense? A main problem we have right now is that we cannot package the app to be downloadable with our custom extension. Uh, uh, yo, what up chat? We are back on the Sunday stream. We are starting this new project called Pair AI. And I'm gonna be building this with you guys. So if you guys are not up to speed, go watch the last vlog on Pan's Day channel. You guys can all be a part of it. So whether you're a student and you want to, you know, contribute some open source to put on your resume or you wanna do something cool, we need you guys. I will give a rundown of the project in a little minute. Uh, I saw yesterday when I released the vlog, a lot of people pinging me like, oh, the build is not running. I tried to clone the repository. You know, it's not working. So we have so much stuff to get through chat. We have so much stuff, so much work to do, which is quite exciting, but you know, there's a lot of work to get through. I will give a little presentation right now. My name is Pan and this is Pair AI, Team Contributing 101. So if you want to be a user of Pair AI, if you want to be a contributor, if you want to code with us, if you want to design with us, if you want to work with us, if you want to help impact into society on everyone, including yourselves, including me, you, your mom. What is Pair AI? So to put it simply, it's an open source AI powered code editor, okay? Short term, the mission, the first step we need is we need to beat Cursor. So I believe that Cursor right now is the best AI code editor on the market right now, right? And, hey, we're gonna give them a little bit of free marketing right now. The long term mission, right? The long term mission is to empower people by reducing the time from idea to conception. Right? So if you have an idea in your head, you want that to be realized as soon as possible. You don't want to get through like the boring parts. Like we want to automate that all the way. And, and today it's more and more possible because of AI. And we operate on this fundamental assumption that the fundamental foundational AI models will get better over time, right? So, you know, open AI, uh, Claude AI, Llama, Gemini, all these like uh, forefront LLM models are going to get better over time. So what we're building is a layer on top of that, okay? So we're gonna use their foundational models and build an environment on top of that. And in the future, right, like if you imagine 10, 20 years, you know, 30 years from now, dude, coding is gonna look entirely different. Whatever we're building here with Pair AI, it has to evolve with these foundational models. And one day there's gonna be no more coding, chat. It's scary to think about, right? It's scary to think about if you're a coder yourself, but that's what's gonna happen one day. And we might as well be on the forefront of that future instead of just being like, oh shit, my life is um, no job. Right, you, dude, like, we can just be on the forefront of that shit, all right? If you look on the bright side, what that means is it's going to empower people to build things, right? Even if you're a non-coder, non-technical person, if you have an idea, it's going to be way easier for you to build it if you have an environment that allows you to do so. And that is the mission of Perry. You want to lower the barrier of entry for things to be possible, to be built by anyone. All right, Tobit, any questions, actually? Any questions, chat? Okay, is the mission clear enough for you guys, chat? First step is we need to be on par with competitors, okay? A lot of people ask me, oh, how are you going to be better than Copilot? How you, you know, Copilot already exists. There's always going to be competitors, okay? But having competitors is a good thing. It means there is people willing to use this in like this market. There's like product market fit. There's other people building the same thing, other people using the same thing. So we know this is something people want. And also, I want this chat. I want to use this shit, okay? I don't use Copilot. Copilot sucks, chat. Copilot is crazy mid. It's not Perry Eye, it's Tri Perry Eye. It's right here. Let me show you, actually. You can join the waitlist through here. Uh, you know, just tell us what you do. You know, you're a student, you're a software engineer, what's happening, UX. Is there something you wish it was uh, better? And tell us, you know, what current editor you're uh, using. If you click more details, chat, more details, boom, we have a master doc. Every one of you guys can access, and it has all the links. 
Do viewers get free access? Yes. Uh, actually, everyone will get free access, but you will have to use your own API key at the beginning. And afterwards, we will have a paid tier. Um, we'll host the servers for you. And it's probably gonna be, I think at most 20 bucks a month. Probably, like we're, we're gonna try to make it less, but 20 bucks a month is the current standard. Every competitor is 20 bucks a month. We're gonna see if we can make it less. You can definitely just use your own API key as well. Cobase. All repositories can be found in github.com slash try pair. You can see here repository. Uh, we have three. This is like some, some BS. We have three. We have the pair AI app, pair AI extension, and the landing page. The landing page is what I just showed you guys. You know, and then the extension in the app is what actually matters. Now the pair AI app, okay, this is the entire code editor. Okay, this is what, um, you know, it, it's gonna look like this, right? Like VS Code. But the extension is where it's going to matter. So we have built, we have a built-in extension called Peri. And this is a sub-module, Git sub-module repository. So this Peri extension is mostly what you guys will work on. We will use for indexing of the code base that will be all hosted by us. Review my PR ho. Hey, 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 giraffe. We'll get there, bro. We'll get there. Let me finish the presentation. All right, keep going. Internal products, chat. Internal products. These are the priorities, okay? Number one, codebase context rag implementation, right? We want to have context of your codebase. That way the AI is the most useful if it has context of your codebase and not just like one particular line of code, right? UI UX has to be a seamless experience, okay? Like I'm using this shit, it, sh it should be like boom, 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 click, boom. Like AI appears, AI disappears. That shit is like flowing like water. Platform infrastructure, ability to support different LLMs, right? So you can switch out if you don't want to use OpenAI, you can use Claude, you know, uh, Llama, etc. There's some other features too, which are not the current priorities, but will be cool, very cool to have. Number one is educational features, okay? So this is something I really want us to have because I know a lot of you guys are students as well. And there's a problem with AI nowadays. Like if you're a student and you're coding, right? Like you kind of want to learn a lot of stuff. You don't want AI to just like split out like everything and then, all right, we just run it. It works, uh, done, right? Then you don't learn anything. So there are ways to help you keep learning even if you're using AI. Like for example, for me, I've got when I use AI, there's a lot honesty. of stuff I don't know. Like I code in Golang. I never learned Golang. <laughs> I just started coding it. And because I was using AI, it was just so easy to learn. But I also use the AI in a way where it helps me actually learn the code instead of just like giving me the answer, right? You, know, you, can, you can, there are certain questions you can prompt it uh, when it gives you the answer such that it teaches you what was generated. So these are like more educational stuff. And I can see like this being very good for schools. Like, man, if I was a university, I would want to use this, right? It makes the job for teachers easier. And also it's just way better for the students because you learn way better. A pair program, a boilerplate market place for general startup project use cases so what this means is let's say you start your vs code right you start oh, not vs code pair you start pair ai you have a bunch of boilerplate possibilities right like what are some of the most popular apps uh marketplace app a social media app right i don't know, like a dating app like all, all these like very uh very popular types of app like use cases we can have boilerplate batteries included. So this is something Nang really likes. Uh, I also really like this is, for example, there's a lot of like dev tools, right? Like if you click like, uh, if you click, I think it's control R, right? When you're in the terminal, you can see, um, you, you can see back I search, right? Like, uh, like all the, all your previous commands that you, you did uh, for a certain uh, like starting of the command. And, but it doesn't really display it, but if you use like some, some plugins, it displays everything. All right, so those are some like UI UX improvements for uh, coding essentially. Chat, are you guys enjoying this so far? Let me know what you think, give me your feedback. Pan, I want to talk to my VS Code girlfriend. Hey man, if we see enough demand for such a thing, like it might be possible. Like if, if you really want a girl AI girlfriend in your VS Code, it might not be a priority. I'm, I'm just saying, like, you might not see that as the first thing we built. <laughs> and you, you can submit a PR for that if you want. Contributing roles. So we, we're going to have multiple roles, uh, multiple roles in here. And uh, you guys can find this here. Every one of you guys have the user role right now. Now, if you have merged one PR, there's one PR, you get to have the contributor role. You can create PRs, read access to code. If you want to be one level above, 
which is a moderator. You can have power to approve PR. And this is like, you kind of need application for this because we can't just like have everyone approving PRs and shit, obviously. Uh, so uh, if, if you're, you know, if you're a little bit more experienced, you can apply for this. Uh, or if you like, if you have been coding, I guess on, on the, on a repository for a while, we can also like promote you, I guess, or that type of thing. But um, yeah, that's the moderator role. And we also have a maintainer role, which is direct correlation with like me and Nang. Uh, and you have like, you know, read it, write access to the master branch. You have a moderator for a while, approval base from admins. I know personally who are good devs. We, we have a lot of friends who are like, you know, staff, software engineers and meta or like um, hedge fund, like wh whatever, whatever. And obviously admin role is me and Nang. All right, next one. How do I get started contributing? If you want to contribute, uh, you can start with the external extension repository. You can look at the readme. There's a contributing.md. Literally just follow this. I think uh, I think Nang made this pretty clear. Um, I ran through it myself. It worked. It worked on me. I, I use a Mac. If you have a Windows, it might not. Uh, we had some trouble for Windows users yesterday. I got pinged a few times. Uh, and we're going to look into it today. Matter of fact, uh, how about I just buy you guys all a Mac? Okay, so yeah, install prerequisites. Uh, make sure you have the right version of Yarn. Make sure you have the right version of PNPM. Uh, make sure you have the right version of TypeScript, Node, you know what I mean? And then you can launch extension by, you know how you run a debugger in VS Code? That's how you run the app. Uh, you can just press F5 or um, what I do is I do command shift D. It opens this and I just click this. Building the entire application, All right? So right now we just talk about try pair extension repository. And then there's the entire app, which is the try pair repository. Some of this stuff might sound complicated to you guys right now. Don't worry. Uh, it was for me as well, but um, it plastic. will get more clear. Very important chat. Very important. This link. All right. Uh, bookmark this link. Save it. Whatever. This link is all the issues. Okay. So if, you, if you're wondering what do I need to do, you can go here. So, you know, we have a lot of tasks. This is like kind of like a video game, essentially. You know, if you want to, if you want a mission, if you want a quest, go into this part, this issues tab. There's a bunch of quests here, right? If you want to rank up, um, some of these might have a prerequisite quest. So you can't do this quest unless you do the previous quest. Dude, I, dude, why do you guys keep talking about my light mode, bro? Like, does no one in this chat use light mode? Am I the only person? There's no shot, bro. We are in this together, <laughs> lowering the barrier of entry to coding and building products and turning ideas into reality. So, uh, to be part of this community, to be tapped in, you, you guys want to be locked up in, join the Discord. We made a new Discord for uh, Perry specifically. Uh, a lot of you guys were asking me f like questions in my Discord, which is great. You can do that. I'll answer. Um, but we made a we made a Discord specifically for Pair. Probably gonna do all announcements going forward in this Discord specifically. Weekly stream schedules. Yeah. So we're probably gonna set a set schedule so that it's more clear. I think it would be good if we do like town halls, right? Or like one on ones and just shit like that. Like you know, I'll have you guys. We'll join like the voice call on Discord and we can talk to each other. Concerns you guys have. Uh, plans you guys have, you, you, you guys should think, oh no, uh, maybe you guys should go this direction, uh, maybe this direction, and I'll be like, nah, I can't. So, no, I'm <clears throat> All right, just gonna follow the journey, uh, content wise, check out the startup channel, Pan's Day. Hey, low key, my last video kind of popped off. Um, shit, this leg now. I've also been thinking if I should just upload my startup series on my main channel, chat. What do you guys think? Should I just upload on my main channel? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We'll be posting a lot of shorts on this. Um, some are like just from the vlogs. Some will be like specific for reels. That's pretty much it for community, important links. Um, yeah, this one definitely master doc. All the links are here. So if you're lost, just go here.